Maeve Garvey and welcome to the gathering. I guess you weren't expecting to see me here, but we're, we're here in my mom's house and Kristen and Terry and the rest of the girls are having a little get together on, on the gathering. Tonight's show is an improv to gathering where all the girls are going to be cooking at the same time and I'm going to be cooking a little dish in my easy bake oven and I'm going to be cooking some yummy sugar cookies. Hey, remember me? I'm Terry and as Maeve said, welcome back to the gathering. So tonight's show is an impromptu gathering where we're all going to be cooking at the same time. So, seeing how we're all making a separate dish, why don't we start and go through and say what we're going to make tonight. Lisa, we'll start with you. I'm making garlic roasted potatoes. Awesome. I'm making sugar cookies. Wicked awesome. And I'm making a pork tenderloin stuffed with cornbread, apples, and a apple cider glaze. Ooh. I'm just making asparagus. <laughs> Wonderful. So, as you see, it's going to be an impromptu evening. So the camera's going to be running. We're all going to be cooking at the same time. And uh, we'll get to it right now. Oh, what am I going to be making? Right. Well, Lisa asked me for a repeat performance <laughs> from my shrimp with chili and cilantro. So I'll do that. And I'm going to make truffle cups with crab and caviar. Ooh. And then I'm going to make... Philo purses with brie and smoked salmon. So Ooh, let's get to it. Okay. Hi. Potatoes. I'm washing my asparagus. And then I'm just going to break the ends off and cut them up. And this recipe says to parboil them. So that's what hopefully I'll be doing. Right. Top the morning. Taking the cookie dough mm -hmm. and ripping it a little bit, mm -hmm. putting it in a circle, and just finding a spot for it on the pan. Hold on, we just rinse this out. And now, since my cookie dough oh, okay. is all in the pan, I am now gonna put mm -hmm. this, my cookie dough, into the oven. Very simple. So okay, it's in. Um, and now I just need to wait for the ding. Yay! Okay. Can I eat some cookie dough now? I'm cutting these asparagus on a diagonal and then they're going to parboil. Um, then what I'm going to do is, once they're done with the parboil, I'm going to mix them with a little olive oil, a little lemon zest, and some Parmesan cheese. Yikes. Oh yeah! Lisa! <laughs> wait, 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 we need the camera! Do not do this! When a recipe says two tablespoons, wait, I gotta do this. <laughs> Just an FYI, when your recipe calls for two tablespoons of Miss Gallup, don't do this. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> that was awesome. That was about the whole night. The garlic and the oil um, for about two minutes. Okay. I'm gonna be stirring this and then I'm gonna put it over the potatoes. Okay, so I'm adding the cut asparagus to the boiling water for two minutes. Okay. Garlic and the oil. And then we are drizzling this over the potatoes. So I am zesting the lemon using a grater since we can modify here. 
and this will be added to the um, asparagus with the olive oil and the cheese um, momentarily. We're just going to toss it all together and get a nice coating on it. And um, yeah, and then it will be heated later. Nice bright lemon. Okay, Ty. Okay. These are one sec. Okay. Oh, so it's close to the table. You'll roll with it? Yep, I'll roll with it. This is my favorite part of the kitchen. It is? Yep. Okay. Okay, so the asparagus is done. We've put it back into the pan, all drained. We added some olive oil, the grated lemon, and the cheese. And we're just going to toss it all up. And... There it is. That's beautiful, Lauren. It smells delicious, I have to say. Can't wait to eat it. <laughs> In go the potatoes. They're beautiful, Lisa. And it is 4.11, so hopefully by 4.41, they will be good to go. All right, great. Two down, 20 to go. <laughs> hey. Next, we're going to chop up our apple. Well, Hopefully soon. Are both nurses? So now I've chopped up two apples, Granny Smith apples, so they're nice and tart and cute. And I'm going to add those to the sautéed celery and onions. And this mixture is all going to be going into make our stuffing that we're going to put in our pork. And now I'm adding a quarter of a cup of dried cranberry and the leaves of one sprig of fresh thyme. Okay. Hi, it's me, Maeve again. I'm gonna check my cookie. These look like they are some yummy sugar cookies that are best. I'm adding, just getting the right consistency for the stuffing. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to butterfly my pork loin here. And you have to be careful not to cut all the way through the piece of meat. This is a lovely looking center cut pork loin. And I'm just going to make a nice pocket for my stuffing. I'm just going to make sure I have okay. like this. So, so I've butterflied. This is when it's me. Terry, what do you so think? I'm going to take my stuffing. Now you have to get some twine to be able to tie this so it stays all together. So now you can see why we need the twine to be able to pack this. I'm going to just slide the twine right underneath. Mm. Uh, oh, okay. Um. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is this is good. <laughs> She's so kind. Now, now, are, are you getting your hands into it? Okay, this is what you want to do. You want to flatten it out. Okay. Okay. Yay! That's hot. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> okay. Hello. Okay. 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 Huh? Hi. 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 Okay. She needs a pizza box. So, oh. so okay. No. Okay. Tie, tie it from the side. Tie it from the side. So look, get this is running. Okay. First, you want to yeah. pull this. Okay. I know. You want to. <laughs> oh, all the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that. That. that looks amazing. Oh, Doesn't it? It, just it really does. Yeah. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. This is like serious business. I know it is. Oh, yeah. I have no idea. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> We are roasting it at 350 and till about 100 and I believe 30 degrees. About how long maybe? Uh, two hours? I would believe about two hours. Sounds good. Feel it. I thought they do, but... 
So because this is impromptu here at the gathering tonight, if you ever need a quick little appetizer on the fly, this is one of the best and it will get rave reviews from your guests. Take a Boboli pizza crust. It is one very loved pan, okay? Only three ingredients. You're gonna take nice. some fig preserves, a little bit of goat cheese, and you're just gonna spread a thin layer I think it's the combination of the creaminess from the goat cheese and the sweetness from the figs that just makes this little pear quite the combination. So now I'm just going to take a little bit of this fig preserve and spread this right over the top. Mm. And we're going to put this in on 400 for about 10 to 15 minutes. Oh, that looks really yummy. Does it look good? Okay, here, you carry it for me. truffle custards with crab and caviar. Now what I have here is one scallion chopped, a third cup of milk, a tablespoon of soy sauce, two thirds cup of heavy cream, two eggs, one egg yolk, and a tablespoon of lime juice. So what I'm going to do now is just heat up the heavy cream, milk, and soy sauce in a saucepan until it boils. Now I'm going to remove it from the heat because it's just at a boil. I'm mixing the eggs. So I'm going to pour the eggs in the bowl and just give it a little extra whisk. Now I'm going to take the hot mi mixture and constantly whisk it. And now I'm going to pour the mixture into these little custard dishes. And I'm only going to put a little because again it's an appetizer. We're filling the pan halfway up with hot water so that the custard can cook evenly. I just marinated the crab meat with lime juice. So we're going to take uh -huh. this out of the oven That's and it is cool. delicious and we're just going to slice it up in little little strips and it makes a great appetizer. <laughs> and I'm going to add the chives to the crab. is probably a little more than halfway done. We're gonna take the apple cider reduction and ladle this on the pork. This will keep the meat nice and tender. Oh, it's so moist, right? Yes. So, I'm showing you some Tobico caviar. <laughs> and on the back, it says, the tiny light golden eggs of the flying fish have been long prized by the Japanese for their refreshing crunch and sweet briny flavor. Tobiko provides for a delicate caviar garnish. Now, you've got other caviars from salmon, they're dark red, um, they're, they're dark, they're black, some caviar is black. The black caviar is stronger. This is the most delicate because some of us here, certainly not me, but some, some here have never had caviar before. I wanted to go with the most delicate. So we're going to put this on top of the crab, on top of the custards, and then, um, and then we'll be on to the last appetizer. <laughs> like Kristen said, we're getting there. 
me to yourself with Disney Channel. I'm so here I am skewering the shrimp, and I'll boil these. Oh. And put them out because people are waiting for them. Here I am. But what they do is professional. I'm gonna grab one. And what they do is. Can you imagine? Where should we go? And everybody, this is Pam. Hey. Hi. Pam got here a little late. And she is going to make, should I make them? Oreo. Oreo balls. <laughs> the girls that work gave me this recipe. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take um, whole house uh, Nestle morsels and we're going to um, heat these up in a double broiler. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is we just put the water in the double broiler and that's going to heat up. And in the meantime, I'm going to pour the chocolate morsels on top because I don't know if we needed all this chocolate, but you can use the leftover chocolate for something else later. So we're going to let that warm, and in the meantime, I'm going to um, crunch up all these Oreos. Do you have a Ziploc bag and watch out for that? They clementine us, too. I do, too. Yeah, this side, this side. There you go. You do that bag? Now we're going to add cream cheese. I want to just make sure. Is it a whole pack? Oh, you're yep. so cool. Say hi. <laughs> Hi, Terry. Hey. I love you. I love you too. I can't wait to eat your food. You. The gathering you loves you. Ball. And I see you brought more wine. Of course. All right. Of course, my staple. Ah, you are a cute puppy. Yeah, very We're going to make um, balls into this, roll them into you know balls. Do so I'm going to see if so the food processor is ready and we can throw this in. All right. So now I'm going to put in the food processor. Oh, okay. Not in yeah. no. Let's see, I can just pour it back this. in here and I can make balls. Okay. Okay. Let me move this. <laughs> the balls. <laughs> yeah. Pam's getting a little fresh, but that's okay. <laughs> it sure is so getting there. there. Right. Right. Yes. yes. I shall get. Where are the toothpicks? Can you find the toothpicks? Anyway, so we went, let me get out of your way. All yeah. right, so now I'm making the balls and I'm going to oh, just. Oh, oh. But I just here. Oh, no, okay, you can get in there. And then once these are made, then we're going to. Thank you. Oh, I, I bought a. Did you take them out of that container that I bought? Oh, no, we have. Oh, okay. Because I have a whole container oh. I bought. Do you want me to stick these in here? Um, perfect. Yep. So Maeve is going to stick the toothpicks right into the chocolate balls. And then we're going to dip okay, those into chocolate. I'm not doing no, no, no. All right, here's the last Oreo ball. Okay, so now we're ready to dip those Oreo balls into the chocolate. So what do you want me to do? Do you want me to? You can't see the balls? Okay, do you want me to take this out and put it in shorts? Okay. Terry, how much do you need? Of what? Of the, um, what's this time? Right, so at least one teaspoon of yeah, bread. Right. So at least one teaspoon. Now, what we're gonna do oh, yeah, we're there. Okay, um, Ooh, this smells so good. This is hot. This is hot. Okay, ready? Okay, move all these over. Okay, put the balls over here. In the ball. Balls are balls. This will loosen it up a little bit. Oh, that shrimp is yummy. Mm. So the first one got kind of mushed because it was too thick. So we added butter and it seemed to, did it lighten it up a little bit? Okay. It like they're falling apart. It seems okay. Does it? Perfect. Somebody did that. Okay. So for the salmon parses. I'm going to dip scallion in boiling water and then I'm going to put them, this is just to soften them up, and then I'm going to put them in ice water to stop the cooking process. And these will tie the parses. Yeah. 
So here are the custards, and they're at room temperature. So what I'm going to do is put crab meat on top. Now the crab meat again has been marinating in lime juice and scallions. Very simple because you don't want to take away from the crab. So again, here's the Topico caviar. It's beautiful, as you can see. And what you oh, want to yeah. do is put it on top. Yeah, my first And it was the perfect amount. Here you have it. Truffle custard with crab meat and caviar. So now I'm going to cook the mushrooms and the thyme for our salmon purses. And garlic. Sugar. These spanakopita. Mm -hmm. All right. So for this, I'm going to cut the phyllo dough that way, and then I'm going to cut it because this isn't a full sheet. I'm going to cut it like that. Yeah, so we have the phyllo dough. We're going to take a teaspoon mm -hmm. of the mushroom mixture and put that in here which is again butter, melted, garlic, thyme, and mushrooms. And then we're going to take a piece of brie and put a brie on top of each piece. And then a piece of salmon on top. So as you can see, we've got the brie on top of the mushroom and then the salmon and then we're going to gather it. We're going to gather it like into a little purse. And then we're going to take a scallion Let me hold it while you tie. Nope. and tie it. And then, then you're going to place it over there. That's your little purse. So we'll just work away, and uh, and the next time you see us, we'll be sitting down enjoying all this good food. Yay! Yay! Yay. Okay, so there you have it, another episode of The Gathering. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Cheers! Cheers. Cheers. Okay, now everybody, look at the camera. Everybody look at the camera and hold your glass up and smile. And this will be for the cover shot. And then we could just, you know, just Yay! Because you never know mm -hmm. which ones I'm gonna choose. Exactly. Ooh. This Ooh. wine is so good. You like it? Good. Good. It is good. Yummy. It's good. So let's try one of these. Oh, I'm excited. I am excited. No, what are we doing? <laughs> no, but it's <laughs> And she said something. She <laughs> She's gonna go to school Monday. I ate chocolate balls. I ate. Oh, balls. Wait, all we kept talking about were balls. My mom's pretty They were so happy. I know. I know. Bad me. Okay. Oh, I've been here. Let's. I need water. Okay. <laughs> oh, this is one of those convection. Yes. <laughs> okay. Here's to age cam. Woo! <laughs> you two get the nod. <laughs> mm. It's funny. Mm.
Let's see. Okay. okay.